Ayatollah Muhammad Musawi Halhali is a leading religious scholar in Iraq. Today he is known to be in prison in Baghdad, but where, or why, or in what conditions, no one knows. Despite the protests that followed the Gulf War, the Iraqi government refuses to release thousands of political prisoners. Ayatollah Halhali was born in the holy city of Najaf in southern Iraq. He is a Shia Muslim in a country where the Sunni Muslims hold most in a country where the Sunni Muslims hold most of the power. He studied religious education at Najaf University and went on to become an assistant to the Grand Ayatollah Al Hoy, one of the Shia Muslims most revered clerics. Ayatollah Hal Hali is also the author of a number of books on religion and theology and is a much respected teacher at the university. He's a retiring and pious man who avoided politics and instead concentrated on the everyday needs of his congregation. On March the 1st this year, after the withdrawal of Iraqi forces from Kuwait, Shia Muslims in southern Iraq rose in revolt against the government. They seized control of several major cities, including Najaf, and released hundreds of political prisoners. There were appalling stories of many years of confinement in complete darkness, as well as rape and starvation. Fierce clashes were reported between government and those in revolt. By the middle of March, Saddam Hussein's army succeeded in quelling the uprising. This was done with extreme brutality. People were buried alive as bulldozers flattened the buildings in which they were hiding. Women, children, elderly clerics were tortured, hanged, shot or forced to drink petrol before being set on fire. Mutilated corpses were left lying in the streets. House-to-house -house searches followed. Thousands of people suspected of taking part in the uprising were arrested. On March 20th, they came for the Grand Ayatollah al Khoi and took him and a hundred of his relations and members of his staff. Ayatollah Hal Hali is 63. He is a married man with four sons and two daughters. He is a diabetic and suffers from a heart complaint. His wife, who is 55, is also ill. She has not been allowed any contact with her husband and has not heard anything about his state of health. All access to political prisoners in Iraq is forbidden. No one knows precisely how many innocent people remain in Iraqi jails. There are certainly thousands of them. The conditions they live in are atrocious. While the current regime remains in power, they have little or no hope of release. Now that the Gulf War is over, Ayatollah Halhali's family fears that he and they may be forgotten. If you would like to help Ayatollah Halhali, please send a stamped addressed envelope for further information to Prisoners of Conscience, BBC Television, London, W12. 7RJ or you can telephone this number now free of charge 0800 767 800 